as we work together, it has become clearer and clearer that there lies an opportunity, not only to add new universities from scratch, where and when appropriate, but I'm the first one to tell you, starting a new university from a blank sheet of paper costs an amazing amount of money and takes decades to establish, get it up fully functioning and operational, to bring in the academic programming, the faculty, the staff, put in place the buildings. Well, I can tell you right now, we neither have that kind of money nor that kind of time. There's an urgency to this. And we're trying to do something about creating an even greater urgency. And that's what I want to spend a few minutes more talking to you about. I call it uh, the New Florida Initiative. And I've got to give you a little history lesson, and some of you know this history better than I do, to set the table for it. You know, Florida forever, perhaps in its entire existence, has relied on agriculture as a mainstay of its economic development portfolio. And contrary to the myth or the ignorance, agriculture continues to be the second largest industry in the state of Florida. The ignorance of which I speak is largely based on the fact that many Floridians, even those who've lived here for a long time, but never ventured away from the edges of it, have no idea what lies across the top and down the center some of the most prolific agricultural land in the United States of America. And even though it's under severe pressure for a variety of reasons, it still is our second largest industry. And by the way, footnote here, on an economic side, you want to talk about an industry who figured out a long time ago that if it was going to be sustainable, it was going to have to infuse science and technology to remain important. If you look at the agricultural lands in this country and a map from 75 years ago, and if you look at the same map today and see how small the amount of land remains dedicated to agricultural needs, you would immediately and understandably scratch your head and say, how at the same time have we continued to feed an ever exploding population of Americans? 300 million of them now, with so much less agricultural land. Ah, it's because uncommon to the myth, which is agricultural people still do it the same way, agricultural people are very smart and early on recognized that it was through science and technology that agriculture could continue to feed an ever-increasing population of people with an ever-shrinking portfolio of available agricultural land. And I use agriculture with young people as a great example of an industry that got it early and understood how to keep the best of the old and infuse the best of the new into an industry that is not only important, I guess we could all agree it is critical to the future of Floridians, people in this country, and the people in this world. 